So I'm out in the big cow pasture, or I guess cow pasture, I don't know. But I'm out with the cows. I haven't talked with these cows in a while, probably since Tinkerbell had her calf. So they've got, I've been putting around hay. I'll flip my camera. I've been putting around hay in a few different piles here and there. And then they have their big bale that they tore apart over there. This is a different bale. The first one was located right there. So I'm trying to work them into walking back into this paddock area here. But I've left lots of hay piles everywhere because I had I wanted to call horns up so I can see what's going on with her. We had the vet out, I don't know, probably about a week or so ago. And he said that the horns was still two months left to calve, but as I'm not sure if you can see because she walked away, but she's really starting to bag up and she's had a lot of mucus. So if I go by last year, she started having like a lot of discharge two weeks before she calved, maybe about a month before she calved. So, and it's been like probably at least a week and a half since she had the first sign of mucus, but she's also being a lot more ornery, doesn't want me to come up to her, but I was going to come up and try to get a view on her, so let's see if we can walk up and not set her off this time. She's got a bit of goop hanging out her back end, and she's very... So I guess she's not completely bloomed up yet, but you can definitely see that that udder is definitely taking form again. So we'll see if she'll let us get closer to her. Hey, horns. Are you grumpy today or are you friendly today? You're good friendly. A bug just flew up my nose. Can I just pet on you a little? So... I'd like to get a look at her, but she's not really in the mood to be looked at. She's not as saggy in the, you know, as I would expect a cow about to calf would be. But I definitely don't think she's holding up till June like the vet says. Sneak a peek at Jersey Girl if Horns doesn't scare her away. The vet said that she was only four months bred, which maybe he's right because she never did lose her bag much, but she's definitely starting the process of filling back up because she was a lot flatter. But I'm not expecting a baby from her until at least June because. Miss Jersey girl, Hershey girl over there, was born in June. So I don't expect a calf from Jersey girl till at least June. Ben's coming over. We got to watch our backs. That over there is the twins. That's. Horns and Ben's daughters from last year. Ben is going to go over to them now. He doesn't trust me to go anywhere near them. But that's the twins. And that's a far out shot of horns. And you can see how that utters developing nicely and how she has one whole pile of hay to herself. I'm sure she chased Ben off. Sorry for turning so fast. Gotta zoom back out. So this is Jersey. She's looking mighty round in the tummy. I'm barely starting to fill up, but she's not 
she gets a little anxious when we get super close. So everybody picks on her these days. So that's what she's looking like under the carriage. She just licked my head. Was I looking at your audio, Miss Love? Tell everybody that you are a friendly cow, that you're not a grump ball. Yeah. Mike didn't realize that you have a... We were talking about it today. Mike didn't realize that Jersey has this beautiful little orange lop on her head. And he's like, why does Hershey have one? Why does Hershey... Where does Hershey get that big hairdo from? And I said, her mom Jersey's got one too. It's just a little less noticeable because she's not as dark as her daughter. Her daughter's super dark. Maybe I'll see how close we can get to her too. So her she is the loner. She doesn't nobody hangs out really with her. I don't know if she'll let us get close to her. You're giving me a side eye. Talking to Mike today, and he says he really likes your hairdo. You want to show the people your hairdo? I won't bug you. Oh, your hair doesn't even look as floofy as it did earlier. Are you losing it all for spring? She's like, I'll just leave this hay pile. Don't go talking on horns this hay pile. It won't go well for you. Yeah, that's what I thought. Keep it moving. Horns will not share with you. We are the most underdog. You go stand with your mama. Well, that works well, because now... If I zoom this in, there's... Hershey and Jersey, her mama. Ben hanging out with his daughters. And Horns, all by her lonesome. Being the queen bee that she is. Right? You good girl? You queen? I wish you could tell me exactly when you're going to have this baby. Because Mike and I were worried back, I don't know, in January that you probably lost the calf because you just didn't look pregnant at all. And Ben was all over you. But I think there's no denying that you're pregnant. You got a lot of a hay chaff all over your back now. Hay chaff. Oh, be nice. Don't wiggle your horns at me. Just trying to get the hay chaff off. <laughs> you guys have a lot of long fur still on your backs and then your sides are starting to thin out you losing your winter coat you especially because it's black and hot so there's no updates on Tinkerbell other than whether she's being sold or not which we're up in the air on but Miss Horns here judging by what the vet said and judging by the way she looks will be the next one to calf. I don't know. I don't think she's got that long to go. Her udder is filling up very fast. So the way the sun is, I can't get a view from the back very well. But she's pretty docile. So that's the udder from the bottom. That's the best I can do for a picture of it from the back. And this is what it looks this is what it looks like from this side. And Nike. Enjoy your hay horns. Have a good day. So I literally just, I just took a video yesterday saying 
Horns is looking like she's filling up, blah, blah, blah. Well, guess what? Today she calved. Vet said it was good. She was only seven months bred. So let's go check this out. So there's one of her calves from last year. There's the other one from last year and Ben's got his watchful eye. And then here's her and you can only see its legs hanging out from underneath. What did you give us, Horns? Did you have a baby? Ooh, looks like it might be a bull calf. Is it a bull calf? No, maybe it's a heifer, it's a heifer. Another little black heifer. Very dry. You calf do, didn't you? Oh, pooping and everything, little heifer. So it's another little black heifer out of horns. Oh, I can't believe that. Here we go again. Did you only have one this time, lovey? Good mama. Good mama. Good mama. Logan was probably right this morning. Logan had said to us, my son Logan, had said, baby calf in field, baby calf in field. But we came out and there was nobody, like the cows were down and horns didn't look like she'd calf. But this calf does look like it's a day old. So maybe she did calf last night. I don't know. And it looks like one quarter is empty. So <laughs> it's definitely been drinking. Hello, little monkey. You're covered in flies. Welcome to the herd. Easy. Ben, the baby's walking away. Hey, easy. That calf was just jumping. That one. Cow. You're a cow now. <laughs> Your mommy's a mommy again. I know. Are you in heat? All right. All right, so there it is. I knew yesterday that she looked like she was bagging up and the vet had told us that she was only seven months bred. So we didn't think anything of the fact that she literally was going to calve out right here. So she's got quite the independent little heifer this year. And we'll see what's going on. She's got a very independent heifer this year. And I'm assuming she only had one because last year she was very attentive to her twins. So I doubt she had one and the other one was left back. She probably only had one and that's why it took her so long to grow. This one looks like it's going to be friendly. You gonna be friendly? I want to see your head. But your dad gets a little upset when I get too close. It's okay. Good girl, Horns. You did good job, Mama. Okay. So there's the little heifer calf. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you on the next video. Like and subscribe for all updates. And I'm sorry that I didn't get Horns' birth on video. She wasn't as loose as I thought she would be the day before calving.